Fox Sports. We are Fox. We are Wisconsin. Here on Fox Sports Wisconsin tonight, the Brew Crew taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Roof is open at Miller Park. It is a beautiful night for baseball here. Tuesday night in Milwaukee, the Brewers with a four-game lead over the St. Louis Cardinals, who won in walk-off fashion yesterday over the Pittsburgh Pirates. That race is bunched up with the Cardinals, Reds, and Pirates. The Brewers trying to keep their pace here with a win tonight. Hi, everybody. We welcome you from Miller Park alongside Bill Schroeder. I'm Brian Anderson. We'll hear from Sophia Minard in just a moment. Got some news today. Ryan Braun is out of the lineup today. He left yesterday's game. He has lower back spasms, so he's not in the lineup. And, uh, Rock, that has sent Ron Renneke back to the drawing board with his lineup. Man, you could tell Ryan Braun in yesterday's ball game just wasn't feeling all that great. He was okay swinging a bat, but... Making some movements in the outfit. You can see he really wasn't doing all that well. And running the bases. This is a double that he hit late in the ball game. See, barely able to get into second base. So Ryan Braun out of the lineup. So what happens is Gomez is going to get out of that cleanup spot. He's going to be back in the leadoff spot again. Scooter Jeanette is in the second spot. That's Braun's spot in the lineup. And then Ramos Ramirez is the cleanup hitter. That's where Ron Renneke really likes Ramirez anyway. So we'll see how long this part of the lineup lasts. But the Brewers have done pretty well with Ryan Braun out of the lineup. Through, through some of his injuries, the Brewers, three games over 500. So the lineup shifts, some of the guys filling in have done a pretty good job. Well, it's a struggling offense right now and a big bat out of it. Let's bring in Sophia Minard. What's the availability tonight of Braun, and what is Ron Renneke thinking, Sophia, for the rest of this homestand? Well, Ron Renneke said that Braun was feeling pretty sore today. He was going to spend the day getting some treatment and was also going to test that back in the cage, see if he could swing and uh, possibly be available as a pinch hitter tonight. Now, Renneke was asked, would he be available for the remainder of the homestand? And he said yes. He does not expect this to be more than a day or two. So hoping to get him back for the finale before the All-Star break, Brian. All right, Sophia, thank you. Stay with us now. We're going to talk pitching when we come back. Craig and Davey are standing by. The Brewer relievers had a great night last night despite the loss. That's coming up next as we inch our way to first pitch at Miller Park.
Brewers look to even up their series against the Phillies tonight. Willie Peralta, Kyle Kendrick are starters. Peralta's won his last five decisions. Kendrick only one win in six career starts against Milwaukee, and they'd like to keep it that way tonight. Those guys in the blue uniforms indeed. Craig Sean, David Nelson back with you here as our coverage of Brewers baseball continues here on Fox Sports Wisconsin. Tell you what, Brewers didn't get the win last night, but how about the bullpen? Four scoreless innings, and if you dial into Tom Gore's Alani, since he's come off that disabled list, oh. he has not been scored upon in seven appearances. Well, that's right. He certainly hasn't, you know, and it, it took him a while to get back active, but boy, since he's come back, as you mentioned, he has just been dynamite. He brings a veteran experience that they sorely need in that bullpen, and, uh, you know, he has just been so good that you know he is no runners have gotten on against him and uh, he's just uh, what more can you say he's it, it's been a breath of fresh air came in at the right time after um, our two pitchers went down all right the series continues game two of a long four game series Brewers Phillies coming up next first pitch Brewers baseball on Fox Sports Wisconsin is brought to you by Menards. Save big money on all your home improvement needs at Menards. By Miller Lite, now in the original can, it's Miller time. By Toyota, let's go places. And by Southwest Airlines, find our fares online only at southwest.com. Tuesday night, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 79 beautiful degrees. Great to have you with us. Brian Anderson with Bill Schroeder, Sophia Minard, and we're set for game two tonight. The Brewers lost the opener 3-2 to the Philadelphia Phillies, trying to even up this series with a win tonight. Just before we came back on the air, Ron Renneke out, presenting the Pitcher and Player of the Month awards to Jonathan Lucroy and Matt Garza. Brewers had an 18-win month. Congratulations to those two. Nice little presentation. And the Brewers trying to get things turned around in July. They are 1-5. Ryan Sandberg's Phillies beat the Brewers for the first time this year with the win yesterday. Sandberg in his first full season as the Philly skipper. His second season overall took over for Charlie Manuel last year. Here's Sandberg's lineup today. It is brought to you by Associated Bank. He's got Ben Revere leading off. Jimmy Rollins is back in there. Former MVP play short. Chase Hudley will bat third. Middle of the order is Ryan Howard, Marlon Bird, and Cody Ashey. Dominic Brown, Coy Hill. 
and Kyle Kendrick rounding out the Ryan Sandberg Phillies lineup. And that's the batting order. Rock that will face Willie Peralta. Now Matt Garza was pitcher of the month in June. Willie Peralta not too bad. 5 and 0 in June, a 422 earned run average. He did make a start in Toronto. His first start in the month of July and no decision in a Brewers loss. Making start number 18 here tonight, a 335 earned run average overall. Let's check out the Brewers defensively, brought to you by Menard. No Ryan Braun today. Logan Schaefer out and right. He had a nice day in Cincinnati in replacing Ryan Braun on Sunday. A couple of hits, some nice plays out there in right field. Ramirez, Segura, Jeanette, and Overbay from third to first. And all star Jonathan Lucroy behind home plate. Pat Holberg will call the balls and strikes. Jeff Kellogg is the crew chief. He's at first base. Dan Bellino, the second base umpire, and Brian Honor over at third. And we're ready to play ball here tonight. Peralta's first pitch in there for a strike, and away we go. Great to have you with us tonight on Fox Sports Wisconsin. We'll have the game tomorrow night as well. No TV on Thursday, and then all three games of the Cardinals series this weekend there's a bouncer and it's off the glove of Segura and Ben Revere is aboard well, took a wicked hop on Gene Segura and Revere a stolen base threat will reach and yeah, that's that in between hop and Segura plays it off to the side good thing he might have lost some teeth on that bounce coming straight up on him able to get a piece of it but Revere on first base to start the game And that'll bring up Jimmy Rollins. That'll be a base hit for Revere. Official scorer Tim O'Driscoll calls it. And you don't figure Revere to be there long. He stole the base last night. He has 26 steals. He and Jimmy Rollins are the two that steal bases for the Phillies. Sometimes it takes Willie a little while to get rid of it, but with his you know, good velocity, Luke Croy gets the baseball pretty quickly. And Luke has been throwing the baseball extremely well lately. Now Luke Croy has cut down five of his last seven base stealers. Had a chance at an out on Revere last night. It was a misplaced tag by Segura. That gets away from Luke Croy, and Revere will make it on a wild pitch. So this one not off to a great start a base hit and a wild pitch and the Phillies are threatening quickly against Peralta and look where Luke is setting up on the outside corner and Willie threw it off the inside corner so that's a long reach able to get a glove on it but that's a wild pitch so forget about the double play ball. Now Peralta has not lost a game since May 31st against the Cubs. Went 5 and 0 in the month of June. There's another one that skips in. Good play by Lucroy to keep Revere off third base on a 95 mile an hour fastball. Three balls and no strikes on Rollins. And once again, sitting on the outside corner and Willie really having a tough time locating that one. A short hop to Luke. Nice job. There's a strike. Now Rollins had the day off yesterday. Did make an appearance at the plate as a pinch hitter. He was 0 for 1 yesterday. And uh, has hitless in his last 14 at bats. Phillies got swept in Pittsburgh prior to their win last night here in the first game of this series. There's strike two from Peralta. Three and two the count on Rollins. And yeah, scoring runs has been difficult for the Phillies. And didn't score too many last night. Only three. That's all it took. Three two Phillies win yesterday. They scored all three of their runs in the first three innings. And the Brewers came back but couldn't quite knock the door down. They had a ton of runners in scoring position. Milwaukee stranded six. Most of those came late in the game. Had some base running blunders as well. Three miscues on the base pads. And the Brewers continue their offensive woes. And they're going to have to try to come out of that tonight without Ryan Braun. Logan Schaefer getting the call in right field tonight. Rollins fouls one away. And the count remains at three balls and two strikes. 
Phillies still have the big names. They're not getting the big production from those big names that they're accustomed to. We've got Rollins, Utley, Ryan Howard. Utley's an all star this year. He's had a nice season. But Rollins has had a down year, hitting just 243 with eight home runs, 32 driven in. A former MVP in the National League. Rolls over one to first. And Overbay will take it to the back. So it's a productive out, but the first out, Revere ends up at third base for Utley. Yeah, really doing a nice job coming from 3 and 0 behind and able to get the out. Good comeback for Peralta. Now Chase Utley did some damage yesterday in the first inning. His first at bat, he delivered a two run home run. Marco Estrada giving up the long ball, put the Phillies on the board early, two to nothing. The Phillies had a three nothing lead after three innings. Utley was two for three with two runs scored and drove in those two runs. He also drew a walk. The all star starter at second base for the National League this season. And he stands so close to the plate, you wouldn't think he could hit a ball that was. Up and in on him from Marco at about 91 miles an hour. Hit it out of the ballpark, let alone keep it fair. He is right on top of the plate. Those hands hang right over the inside corner. And Peralta trying to hit that inside corner. Peralta has a lot more giddy up on his fastball than Estrada, but as we've seen over the years, I don't think there's a pitcher alive that can sneak a fastball by Chase Udley. He's always been a great plus fastball hitter. Phillies threatened early runner at third with one out. And that one's driven in the gap in left center field. Davis is there to make the catch. Revere will tag and score and the Phillies strike first. That'll be a sack fly and an RBI for Utley. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball up. And Utley just drops the head of the bat on it and whistles it out there into left field. Not too many lefties are going to be able to get on top of this pitch. That pitch up, but Utley nice and easy. Serves it out there into left field. Pitch that was on the outer half goes right with it. So Utley now with 43 runs batted in. And the Phillies strike first again tonight. That wild pitch proves costly for Willie Peralta. Here's Ryan Howard now with two away. Base is empty. It's been a rough road for the Brew Crew. They have dropped six of their last seven. They start play today four games up on the Cardinals in the Central Division. Milwaukee still has the best record in the National League and the third best record in the big leagues. So you got to take a little bit of the valley. They've had plenty of peaks. Renneke hoping the ball club pulls out of this quickly. But you think about the way the games have gone all of these losses lately. They've been right there in it. They've been one swing away seemingly every night from winning the ball game. Yeah, they're in a stretch right now where they're maybe not getting a break, not getting that big hit, something that they were doing fairly consistently in the first three months of the season. They'll get out of it. A lot of low scoring, close games that the Brewers are on the wrong side of. Last night, a perfect example in a 3 2 Phillies win. And they've had their fair share of games where they've been on the fortunate side of these one run two run games all season long the stuff catches up with you every now and again they'll grind it out they'll get through it two and two to Howard and did he go they'll ask no he didn't quick call by Brian Onora Howard able to check his swing and the count goes full three and two tried to get him on a slider down and Howard able to hold up. That was a good call. So a payoff pitch from Peralta. Got him. Willie strikes him out. 97 mile an hour fastball. Philly score. A sack fly from Ugly. They're up 1 0 with the Brewers come to bat.
could lead one nothing. Brewers are coming to bat, and Ron Renicki's had to go back to the drawing board a little bit with his starting lineup. Brian Braun is out with lower back spasms, and Renicki going back to a familiar leadoff hitter in Carlos Gomez, who led off in his first 42 games of the season. Batting order brought to you by Associated Bank. You got Gomez, Jeanette, and Luke Croyd, and Ramirez back in the cleanup spot with Davis and Overbay, and then Segura. Schaefer and Peralta rounding it out against right-hander Kyle Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick, one in five career against the Brewers. Nine games, six starts with a 4.06 earned run average. Has not won a game this year, going way back to June 17th at the Atlanta Braves. Got a win against the Braves. Hasn't won since. That was mid-June. The Brewers roughed him up in Philadelphia. That was the game Braun hit three home runs. Two of those came against Kyle Kendrick. Gave up six runs and four earned against Milwaukee in five innings on the 8th of April. I will see how the lineup change affects the Brewers at the plate. Typically when Renicki has made changes it's to his batting order, they have uh, <laughs> caught fire. And hoping for the same. You know, Jeanette Gomez at the top. Ramirez in his more familiar cleanup spot. Last outing for Kyle Kendrick coming against the Marlins of Miami and he went seven innings two earned runs. He had four K's in that game pretty efficient seven innings as well. And just like most of the Philly starters hasn't been getting a whole lot of run support two earned runs in seven innings for Kendrick. And think about Kendrick that's been so impressive. He doesn't walk many people and he's only given up one home run in his last five starts. He just keeps the ball in the ballpark. He's given up 11 this year, but not too many lately. Gave up a lot early in the season. Gomez hits it sharply, but right at Chase Ugly. And a low throw. Gomez is retired. One gone in the first. And check out the Phillies defense brought to you by Menards. Third best defense in all the National League. A 986 fielding percentage. They committed only 48 errors. Very solid up the middle. Jimmy Rollins, Chase Sutley, Ben Revere. These three can uh, run them down pretty well. Coy Hill getting a start. Yesterday's ball game. He did not start. It was Cameron Rupp behind home plate. So with Carlos Ruiz out of the lineup, the Phillies are trying to find their catcher. Scooter Jeanette moves into the two spot in the batting order today. With Ryan Braun out. Scooter had been hitting leadoff and was very effective in that leadoff spot. Comes in with a 305 batting average. Six homers, 28 runs batted in for Jeanette. That ball's hit well to right. That's got a chance to go, and Scooter Jeanette sends one out. Doesn't matter where he hits in the lineup, he just keeps on hitting. And just like that, we're all tied up. Hey, like I said, he doesn't give up many home runs. <laughs> well, Scooter got a pitch. Looks like it was middle in and turned on it. And Jeanette shows that surprising power from time to time. A two-seam fastball was supposed to be on the outside corner. You can see Hill reaching across the plate. Missed his spot, and Scooter made him pay, so we're all tied up. That's the 17th run allowed by Kyle Kendrick in the first inning this year. He gives up a lot early. Here's Lucroy now. Takes a strike from Kendrick. Great way to start for the Brewers offensively. They need a big night at the plate, and they're hoping tonight is the night. I know Johnny Darren, the hitting coach, is hoping for that. He's uh, had to play a the Dr. Phil role over the last couple of weeks for these Brewers hitters They're trying to keep these guys positive and that ball is driven into the gap in right center over to cut it off his bird. Lucroy will not challenge the strong throwing arm of Marlon Bird. It's a single for Lucroy back to back hits for the Brew crew. I guess if you're the Brewers offense anybody's got to look better than Cole Hamels in yesterday's game. Hamels outstanding with the cutter and the change up. So all three hitters for the Brewers in this inning have hit the ball right on the nose. Even the out by Gomez. There was a slider that stayed up in his own. Again, he has his problems in the first inning. Goes right with it into the gap. 
You'll notice if you were with us last night, the Phillies play their outfield very deep. Yeah, nerd power, Jonathan Lucroy says. The Phillies outfield is deep, and they do that to try to cut off the extra base hits, just like Bird did against Jonathan Lucroy. So it's all part of the plan with Ryan Sandberg to cut down on the slugging percentage, hold the Brewers to singles. And they can get three hits to score a run as opposed to a couple of doubles. Playing the percentages. The Brewers are a slugging ball club, one of the best in the National League with extra base hits. We're going to talk a little bit about defensive positioning, defensive shifting later in our broadcast. Carl Mueller is going to join us here in the booth out of the Brewers Baseball Operations Department. He is the guy who puts all the data together concerning those shifts, and uh, that's been a huge topic in baseball over the last couple of years. And just about every team does it, and there's got to be a reason for it. There are formulas and scanning reports and numbers to back it all up. That should be an interesting discussion. There'll be a, a lot of teaching going on with Carl Mueller. Fascinating to uh, learn how the Brewers gather their information and distribute that to the coaches and the manager and then to the players. He'll be able to answer all of those questions for us. He's swinging on 3-0. Kendrick had a guy that throws very hard. 88 to 90 miles an hour with the fastball. Sinks it, cuts it, and he'll throw a, a variation of a splitter changeup. He's got a good one. 29 years of age, Kyle Kendrick. Just three wins this season. As Ramirez draws the walk, so. Three consecutive base runners, the home run, the single by Lucroy, now a walk to Ramirez, and the Brewers have two on with one out for Chris Davis. And with Ramirez in the cleanup spot, Chris Davis moves up a spot in the number five. Now you talked about it. I mean, every time Ron Reddick, he shakes the lineup up, it seems to work. Then it stops working, you shake it up again, see what's gonna, <laughs> you know, see what's gonna develop. You don't know. Or you can do what uh, Joe Madden did, and he just went Tommy two tone with it. Eight six seven five three oh nine. That was his batting order. Yeah. Center fielder, shortstop. I get it. Okay. That was on purpose. <laughs> I assume the O was the <laughs> DH. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, Chris Davis, the club leader in home runs. 44 runs batted in. Braun is the club leader in RBIs. Davis tied with Lucroy with 44. Gomez is behind Braun with 45 ribbies. Two on, one man out. Chris Davis has been a busy guy today. He made an appearance with Kyle Loesch at the season seat holders luncheon in the Sky Lounge on the club level. That was earlier today. That was a great luncheon. Davis uh, was very entertaining. You know, he's a pretty chill guy. Were you there today? I was. I emceed the event. We had a great time. Nice. Good turnout. Thank all of the season seat holders who participated. That's just one of the bonuses you get. You sign up for a season ticket plan. You get to come hang out with a couple of the players. Yeah. A lot of questions about you, Rob. I would imagine. Yeah. I stood up for you, though, on all accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Three and zero to Davis. Yeah. See now he backs out. That I don't believe. Oh, we had a lot of fun at your expense. It would have been better had you have been there. Wasn't invited. I figure Chris Davis might get the th green light here on three and zero. Oh. It's been all cutters that have missed in this at bat, and that's ball four. So the bases are loaded. You think about the only out in this inning was a rocket off the bat of Gomez to Chase Udley. So Bob McClure. The Philly pitching coach, former Brewer pitcher, on his way out in the very first inning. Man, he's been a busy man this year. 
Phillies have had their pitching problem. Let's check out Kyle, Kyle Kendrick. Kelly trying to work Chris Davis, trying to go after him with the cut fastball three in a row, got behind with all three of them, and then tried to come inside on a 3 0 pitch, thinking that Davis might be swinging for a four pitch walk. All smiles, Scooter Jeanette, seventh home run of the year. Now 29 runs batted in. It's been one of the most productive second basemen this season. He had Ricky Weeks, his platoon mate, having a chat. So a big spot early for the Brew Crew. One man out, Overbay coming up with the bases loaded. Overbay with an overall batting average of 236. But he has swung the bat very well with runners in scoring position. He's hitting 342 with runners in scoring position. Hasn't seen a whole lot of Kyle Kendrick. Has three career at bats. He's two for three lifetime against him. Well, veteran guy is understanding who the pressure is on. That's the pitcher right in this situation. Doesn't try and do too much. And not too bad. 289 with the bases loaded. And he's two for two this year with the bases loaded. So the numbers all bear it out. We'll see if Overbay can cash in. The Brewers have been hopeful for a big inning for a while. One ball, one strike. And Overbay launches one. This is way back. Grand slam for Overbay. As Lyle Overbay cleans him up, his fourth home run of the year. Now 25 runs batted in, and the O's are up at Miller Park early tonight. Now he gets all this one. That's a breaking pitch. You can see it's supposed to be a cutter, left it up and in, and Overbay hammers that one out of here. No doubt about that. It was up, it was out over the plate a little bit, and way back here in the second deck. Well, what a start tonight for the Brewers. A five spot, still just one out, and Segura is sent to the ground. That had some distance on it. And a no doubter for Overbay. What an inning for the Brewers. A five spot. Boy, they were due for one of these. And how about Lyle Overbay? Now three for three this year with the bases loaded. Segura, little flare, right field. Bird went back, now coming in. He'll make the catch for out number two. Let me mention that Kyle Kendrick, before this start, had given up 16 earned runs in the first inning, and he starts this year. Make that 21. Awesome. 21 of the 55 earned runs he's allowed this year have come in the first inning. Kendrick has given up. 13 home runs this season and the Brewers have four of them two outs bases empty Logan Schaefer at the plate Schaefer getting the call tonight he came in the game late in yesterday's game he pinch ran for Braun and uh, was thrown out at third base he had a good day against Cincinnati Schaefer off the end of the bat little flare and ugly will make the call and the catch and the side is retired but what a start for the brute crew tonight and a couple of lefties going deep scooter Jeanette a solo shot Lyle Overbay with a grand slam and the Brewers have a 5-1 lead as we go to the second.
slam gives the Brewers a 5-1 to one lead as we head to the top of the second. And with Ryan Braun out of the lineup, Ron Renicki was looking for some offense. And with him out of the lineup, it gave him the freedom to make some changes he'd been looking to make for a while. Putting Carlos Gomez back in the leadoff spot says he likes Gomez at that spot. His energy to start the game, his ability to run and put up a lot of runs early. And also moving Aramis Ramirez back to the cleanup spot. He said it's just something special about those cleanup hitters like Aramis. He said they can still give you good at bats against good pitching and they will still give you a great at bat even when a pitcher is locked in like they saw last night against Cole Hamels. Brian. All right Sophia thanks and the lineup change has worked and Renicky you're right you know she says uh, gave Renicky the freedom to make those changes that's a great way to put it because the ball club's been winning the Brewers have been scoring runs he's been very hesitant to put the people in the places that he wants <laughs> so this was kind of an excuse for him to go ahead and do what he's been telling us he's been wanting to do for the last two weeks well, over the last week or so the Brewers have had a tough time scoring runs so I think even had Braun been in the lineup I think this is something that might have been shortly coming anyway and trying to shake it up a little bit good to see Lyle Overbay put up that home run Segura backhands in a long throw and Overbay has to come off the bag just had to have him stretch out enough to pull him off the bag. He would have had him though. Segura was lined up to make a play. That'll be an infield hit for Marlon Bird to start the second inning. Well, he wound up and uh, threw a howitzer over to first base, but a little bit off the mark. That baseball just out of the reach of Ramirez. That's the mobility of Aramis right now. Not all that great. Not hit all that hard. If he's able to get it, it's a much easier play, but a tough throw for Segura. Overbay just not able to keep that foot on the bag. Puts a man on to start the inning for Cody Ashey. Left handed hitting third baseman. Ashey committed an error yesterday that led to one of the two Brewers runs. Cole Hamels got the win yesterday, his third of the year. He pitched well. He went six and two thirds, two runs, one earned, had seven Ks. He has not been getting a lot of run support himself. But he had just enough yesterday as the Phillies beat Marco Estrada. There's a little flare that hits the bag. Oh my goodness. Look at the spin on that baseball. How about these two hits for the Phillies? Oh boy. Back to back infield hits. I'm not sure I've seen one like that. That was a uh, that was in the air. An awkward swing and it hits the bag and watch the spin when it finally comes down a little cue shot in the air hits the corner of the bag and how about Willie Peralta's luck so far three infield hits I'm going to count that first leadoff hit by Revere an infield hit that went off the glove of Segura so Willie with two on nobody out after the Brewers just score five in the first inning here's Dominic Brown The Brewers scored five runs in their last three games combined. Scored five runs in the first inning tonight. Overbay's grand slam. The big blow. And now we'll see if Peralta can have a shutdown inning after a five spot. That command not all that great for Willie his last time out. That was against the Blue Jays in Toronto. Got a no decision in a Brewers loss. 113 pitches in six innings for Peralta, so he uh, it was a struggle for him. Uh, kept the Brewers in the game. Two and nothing to count with two on and nobody out. Two and one to Dominic Brown. Well, the book's still out for Phillies fans on Brown. They thought he was going to be a frontline outfielder when he was called up. He's had his days, had his moments. He's actually crushed the Brewers in his career. He's a 339 hitter against Milwaukee with four homers and 16 RBIs in 16 games. Last year, he led the Phillies in homers with 27. He was their RBI leader. And a lot of that came early in the season. He got off to a terrific start. 
tailed off a little bit, but uh, just hasn't been able to get it back quite yet. Hitting just 222 coming in. Brown made the All-Star team last year in his first full season as a major league player. And uh, there were high expectations for him in his second year. I think he's probably going through offensively a, a lot what Gene Segura is dealing with. Yeah, league making adjustments on him. Gonna have to make adjustments himself. Still a dangerous bat with plenty of power. Got to be careful to him. Boy, Lucroy scampering out to keep that in front. And Willie Peralta is having a hard time finding the strike zone. The same thing he went through in his last time out. Inconsistent with his delivery a little bit. Not able to get ahead in the count. Throwing a lot of pitches. 30 pitches already does not have an out in the second inning. Peralta trying to get one on the ground from Brown. Brewers in double play depth. And a payoff pitch on the way. Brown fouls it away. Big difference between Brown and Segura. It's hard to have an impact on the game as a hitter when you're a left fielder. I mean, you'll occasionally get a chance to make a catch or a throw, but Segura is making great plays every night. The shortstop position allows you to be an impact player defensively just by the nature of the position. Hey, tonight's time of the game winner is Potter's Bowling Alley in Hancock. As they call the Brewers in the next 24 hours. Potter's Bowling Alley gets 40 Miller Lite beer pen tickets to a Brewers home game. This offer courtesy of the Tavern League of Wisconsin and Miller Lite. Well, Lucroy and Peralta having a tough time connecting on the signals. Well, one of the issues that Lucroy is having in calling the game for Willie right now is he can't throw the slider for strikes. And that's why you see these Phillies fouling off the fastball even when it's at 97. They know it's coming. 3 2 pitch, and it's down low, ball four, and now the Phillies have the bases loaded with nobody out. And Peralta in danger of. Allowing the Phillies right back in quickly. That's the thing. You can't throw that breaking ball over for strikes. These hitters not going to give it a second look. And if you don't have to worry about the slider, the off speed stuff, you're going to be able to at least foul off the big fastball. And when Willie throws a slider for strikes, that's when he gets the big swings and misses on that 96, 97 mile per hour fastball. So a pep talk from pitching coach Rick Kranitz. Hey, the Brewers break out the ball and glove logo this Friday as the crew will wear retro uniforms against the Cardinals and all fans will get a free Brewers retro t-shirt courtesy of Hupy and Abraham call 414-902-4000 or visit Brewers.com today. Bases loaded nobody out big spot early for Willie Peralta. He's got Coy Hill at the plate. Batting eighth in this Phillies lineup, a switch hitting catcher, and Peralta misfires on his first offering. They're trying to minimize the damage in an inning like this, but there is a way out of this inning. You could get a double play ball here. You got the pitcher Kendrick coming up next. One and one, the count. A slew of left handed bats in this Phillies lineup against Willie tonight. The only right hander other than Kendrick, the pitcher, is Marlon Bird. The rest of them left handers and switch hitters. Yeah, Coy Hill and Jimmy Rollins, the two switch hitters. Peralta knows he's going to have to find that breaking ball quickly. He did throw a change up to Ryan Howard. That's a pitch that uh, Peralta. Doesn't use all that often, but does use against left-handers. 
can be a game changer for him if he's throwing strikes with that one. One ball, one strike. Peralta delivers, and Hill bounces one right side. Jeanette lays out, knocks it down. Throw to first is not in time. Infield hit, RBI. Right. It's five to two. He really, just can't buy it out. All right, think about this inning. There hasn't been anything out of the infield. C and I base hits, a little cue shot to hit third base. That one almost hit the runner Brown. And Ron Redicky going on his way out. He's going to have his replay group look at it. I'm not sure you. There's enough there to overturn it. Yeah, he's safe. So an infield hit and an RBI for Coy Hill. A run is in. The base is still loaded. Nobody out. And the pitcher Kyle Kendrick at the plate. Kendrick has three hits this year. We're just trying to keep Peralta engaged here. Frustrated at this inning with the three infield hits. Yeah, it's tough to call a game when your pitcher can't throw anything but a fastball for a strike. I mean, that's a, the battle that Lucroy's waging right now. Trying to call a game. You don't want to fall behind, but then you don't want to just continue to pump fastballs. Well, the irony of it is, is the fact that the Brewers have not given Peralta a lot of run support throughout the season. He's had a few games where he's gotten a ton of runs, but he's been uh, one of those guys on the mound, especially in the month of May when he lost four games. There's a strike. Well, the Brewers are going to take a chance at a double play. They'll concede the run on a ground ball to the middle infielders. And there's a bouncer. Peralta has it coming to the plate, and it is just in time. Willie had to wrestle to get that out of his glove. He makes a good play to cut off a lead run. And just couldn't get his footing and, and to make sure that he had the baseball, the good grip on it, and... Get a throw off to Lucre on the force out. Another very softly hit baseball. Willie kind of tangled up a little bit. Just couldn't get the ball out of the glove, but in there in time to get the force at home. Had to make an awkward off balance throw. Lucroy hanging in there for the force play. And again, uh, blocking the plate does not apply on the force play at home plate. That was a rule that was just updated and changed just a few weeks back. Base is still loaded top of the order now with one out and Revere at the plate. Uh, check out Luke. I mean, uh, it looked like he might be blocking off home plate without the baseball, but it doesn't apply on a force at home, only on a tag play at home. And the interference and obstruction rules apply. On plays like that. They had an incident earlier this year where there was a force play at the plate after they went to the the challenge. It showed that the catcher like Luke Roy was standing on the plate and it actually uh, was overturned. It was called uh, the play was called safe runner safe saying the catcher was in the lane. But that's when they went ahead and they modified the rule. Common sense has to take over, you know, it's just not so as cut and dried as you might think, but. That ball's hit deep right center field. That's big trouble. Schaefer is on the run. That ball will one hop out of here. What a disaster inning for Willie Peralta continues. Two more runs are going to score here. That'll be a ground rule double for Ben Revere. And it's five to four. Well, there's your fastball fastball out over the plate right down the middle and Ben Revere not known for his power nearly hits that one out of here. Well, he gave that one a pretty good charge one hops over the wall and.
Crawford's still in big trouble with only one out. Just can't get the slider over for a strike. And it's costing him big in this inning. The Brewers score five in the bottom of the first. The Phillies have roared back. They have three on the board in this inning. It's 5-4. Second and third with Jimmy Rollins coming up. And Chase Utley on deck. Rollins grounded out to first in the first. Brewers have their infield halfway in. Opens up some more holes for Rollins on the ground. Had three infield hits in this inning. A walk. And a ringing double into right center field. And yeah, not even close. Your team puts up a five spot. I mean, very important for you to get a quick inning, keep them off the board, keep that momentum, and that is the last thing that's happened here. It's just the opposite. Giving the Phillies life, and they're looking to take the lead with a base hit. And a team that's not scoring a whole lot of runs, the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies just fin finished the month of July. Averaging just 2.6 runs per game, or I should say continuing a month of July where they're averaging just 2.6 a game. The Brewers are actually worse than that. They're averaging just two runs a game in the month of July. We got nine on the board already. And Rollins draws the walk. Base is loaded for Chase Utley. And 47 pitches in the first two innings. And only one out in the second inning. Team meeting out on the mound trying to calm Willie down a little bit. Well, Utley's going to bat. The last guy you want to have up in a spot like this. Three runs are in, still one out. Peralta knowing he's going to have to find it fast. Udley hit the ball hard his last time up. Had a sack fly into left center. Run down by Chris Davis. Four career grand slams for Utley. Hit his seventh home run of the season last night Phillies do lead the league and ground balls uh, grounded into for double plays Peralta could use one here in the worst way yeah, and a one to two to three double play to keep another run off the board Utley looking to get one up into the air Two and one. And Luke just jumping all over the place trying to catch the baseball tonight. Setting up outside. Peralta missing off the inside corner. Got to be a lonely feeling on that mound right now. Four hits, two walks in the inning. Bases loaded, one out for Utley. The 2 1 pitch. Bouncing ball through, a base hit. In the score is Kendrick. Revere around third, coming home, and he will score, and the Phillies have taken the lead. They answer the Brewers' five run bottom of the first with five of their own here in the second.
Yeah, another fastball. Just uh, yeah, you just hate to you know just continue to say the same thing, but you know it, it's what's going on. I mean, Willie really just can't throw anything other than a fastball for a strike, and not able to locate that pitch all that well. And you know, the Phillies know it. They're not really worried too much about the breaking ball. Sitting on the fastball, and they're hitting it hard all of a sudden. And it didn't start out with you know, a whole lot of explosiveness, but again, the slider, every time he throws a slider, it's out of the strike zone. You know, fastball misses. And then on a 2-1 pitch, Chase Sutley gets a fastball down the middle and rolls it in the right field. Six runs are in against Peralta on six hits. Still just one out. First and second for Ryan Howard. The ninth batter of the inning. Pickoff play, not a bad idea. Rollins back easily. And that one's in the dirt. Well, probably have to start thinking about somebody else at this point. Well, who? Brewers really don't have a long man. Mm. I mean, think about it. I mean, Gore's line pitched in yesterday's ball game. He's the one guy that you would think he'd give you multiple innings, but he has not done that since last year. Well, this could turn out to be a bullpen buster if Peralta doesn't get it going here. And another meeting at the mound. Thirty three pitches in the inning thus far for Peralta. And a big hack. Howard. Comes up empty. One ball, one strike. Yeah, threw an off-speed pitch, 85 miles an hour. Started him with a changeup. See what he gives him here. Another one. Got it by him. Gorzolani starting the process. Runners take off and a foul ball from Howard. Phillies keep the hammer down. Aggressive base running. You got two guys out there that will steal. You got Rollins and Utley. I think it would have both had stolen bases had Howard not fouled them off. Yeah, the pitcher struggling to throw strikes. That's the perfect thing to do. Is you know he's not worried too much about the base runners. Get a big lead and steal a couple of bases. One and two, the count. And that one's doubted in. Two and two to Howard. Peralta's lone strikeout. Phillies with six hits already. Howard is the 13th batter that Peralta has faced. He's given up six hits and two walks. In the air, center field. Gomez has to leap to make the catch. And there is out number two. So a big stick retired. And the tenth batter of the inning, the man who started all of this with an infield hit, well, that Marlon Bird. That line drive had some backspin on it, kind of took off on Gomez, and was still able to make the catch. Howard hit that one right on the button. Bird started the inning with a ground ball in the hole. Segura got to it. But the throw pulled over Bay off the bag. It was a tough play. And bad luck for Willie in the beginning of the inning, but not so much. 
the second half of this inning. Hasn't made too many good pitches. And Gomez having to make an adjustment right at the last minute. And able to haul it in. Oh, that's a carry on it. Two on, two out for Bird. The Phillies' biggest home run threat. Bird's having a great year. 18 home runs, 52 runs driven in. He is second only to Giancarlo Stanton in home runs, RBIs, extra base hits, and total bases in the National League this year. Stanton leads in all of those categories. And Bird right there with him. Unlikely he'll finish the year as a Philly. Pretty good bet he would be on the trading block and the Pirates acquired Bird last year from the Mets and he had an impact on their ball club. Helped them get to the playoffs. Good outfielder, professional hitter. Every team that's going to the postseason could use a guy like him. Runners take off and the pitch is low. Three balls and a strike. So a double steal there. Rollins and Udley both with stolen bases. Five runs are in. The tenth batter of the inning. And a hitter's count to Marlon Bird. Three and two. The Phillies beat writer Todd Zalecki makes a nice note here. It's the first time the Phillies have scored more than five runs in a game since June 24th. They got six here in the first two innings and threatening for more. Full count. Bird swings and misses. He got him to chase a slider. And a disastrous inning for Peralta finally comes to an end. Five score at 6 5 Phillies. Hey, the Phillies got their five runs back quickly. They lead 6 5 as we go to the bottom of the second. And in our ATT UVerse Rewind, we take you back on this day 2008. CC Sabathia made his first start as a Brewer. That was against Colorado. He went si uh, six innings, had five strikeouts. He would go on to finish 11 and 2 with the Brewers that season. 
actually made two starts for the Brewers before the All-Star break that year. Three complete games in his first four starts. He won all four. On this date, Rock, July 8, 2008. Yeah. What a day it was. Can win a lot of expectation and he exceeded every one of them throughout the season. That was the day after he was acquired in the trade. Peralta rolls one over to Ashy. And the Brewer pitcher is retired. Yeah, Sabathia showed up for his press conference on the 7th of July, said, I'm ready to go. I was, I was supposed to pitch today for the Indians. Why don't I just jump into the rotation tomorrow? It's kind of the way he was. The whole time he was here, pitching on three days rest. Sabathia might be out for the season with a knee injury with the Yankees. They are not confident that he will return this season. A tough break for him and the Yankees. Top of the order here is Gomez. Now the Brewers are going to have to shake off the dust of a very long top of the second. A half inning that lasted 26 minutes. Kyle Kendrick's got to be feeling pretty good right now. There's a shot. Base hit. Gomez down the left field line. That gets down into the corner. And Carlos Gomez with a one out double. Now well, the Brewers say, You want to slug tonight? We'll slug with you. It's been a while since the Brewers had a slug fest and. We might be in the beginning in making a one tonight just inside the third baseline and Gomez in with a one out double. So Gomez who hit the ball sharply in the first for an out rewarded with a double this time and that'll bring up Scooter Jeanette who homered his last time up and well on our way to one of those Colorado Rocky games that 13 <laughs> to 10 game in Colorado. Got that kind of feel to it. Yeah. Scooter drops a bunt down foul. Not a bad idea. Last time up. Scooter goes deep. Home run number seven on the season. And it quickly tied the game at one apiece. Banged it into the bleachers. Jeanette had a grand slam here at Miller Park earlier this season against Washington on the last homestand. Surprising power for a little guy. Hey, Kendrick could only give it up one home run in his previous five starts. He would have two in the first inning tonight. Don't see five run innings very often. You certainly don't see two five run innings in back to back frames yeah. very often. Jeanette off the end of the bat on one hop to Utley. And the second out. I just got that one down off the end just a little bit and. I think Kendrick took a little bit off. Scooter out in front. Here's Lucroy. First time All Star Jonathan Lucroy. You see the little chip on the uh, name of Lucroy. All Star Week here on Fox Sports Wisconsin. All-star game a week from tonight in Minneapolis at Target Field. Kendrick giving up five in the first. But ahead in this game. Tying run at second. And Gomez takes off, pitches the ball, and Gomez is safe. Wow. Just got a hand in there. The throw beat him, but the tag was up high, and Gomez steals third base with two outs. And Ryan Sandberg, no doubt he's going to go out there and stall for time and let his group 
Take a look at this one. Not sure why Gomez is stealing third base here. He's safe though. That's good call over there by Brian Honor. He's right on it. That play's not really that close. They yeah. tagged the bag before he tagged the hand that made it to the bag first. Yeah. So no challenge by Sandberg. We're going to hope the umpire right on it. I mean, that's perfect position. Lucroy takes a strike. Two and one the count. Gomez got picked off second base yesterday. Trying to take liberties off the bag and. Not sure why with Lucroy at the plate you want to steal third but. Because he's in scoring position anyway as fast as he is. Strike two on Lucroy. And he's not buying it from Pat Holberg. Pretty good pitch. Top of the zone, according to Fox Tracks. lucroy has been great with runners in scoring position this year. He's been even better with two outs and runners in scoring position. He's hitting 361. He's got Gomez at third. 6 5 Phillies in the second. And Lucroy into center field. Coming in, Revere. And he's got it for the out. Side retired. Brewers failed to score. Six five Phillies. We're going to talk some defensive shifting with Carl Mueller, the director of video scouting and research. That's all coming up. Wild one underway here. It's six five Phillies as we go to the third. And if you think you're into the baseball metrics and that's part of your fun as you cover this game, well, you're about to meet the guy who <laughs> makes it a career with the Milwaukee Brewers. Carl Mueller is with us here in the booth, director of uh, scouting and research, working in the baseball operations department. And uh, we're going to dive into some of the things that. Carl issues to uh, his uh, ball club and uh, to his general manager and his manager. First of all, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks, Pierre. Great to have you with us. Now, just give us an idea of what your day has been like today as you get ready for a Brewers Phillies matchup. Uh, I mean, it, it, it varies quite a bit. Um, I mean, obviously, this time of year, we're uh, starting to focus on the trade deadline. We're having a lot of meetings uh, up in our war room, war room with Doug, going through scenarios. Um, we know a lot of what if stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, we actually obviously had our uh, advance meeting yesterday on Philadelphia. Um, but yeah, it can, it can vary quite a bit depending on where we are on the baseball mm -hmm. calendar. Well, we talk a lot about uh, shifting, and the Brewers do it probably more than any other team, or at least they're up in the top five 
in the league in shifting. And uh, these are the numbers that uh, Carl provided us, courtesy of Baseball Info <coughs> Solutions. So the Brewers are fifth in all of baseball in number of infield shifts. And for you, you're the one who kind of sets up these shifts. As Brown sends that one deep to right and gone, a home run. Nowhere to shift on a ball that goes that far out. So a home run for Dominic Brown makes it seven to five, Philadelphia. And I guess walk us through the uh, process by which uh, you give your information to, uh, you know, Garth Orge, <laughs> whoever it might be, and, and how it ultimately ends up where a position a position player might line up. Yeah, sure. Um, this is something we actually started. Uh, actually 11 years ago um, it's become a lot more in vogue the last three years uh, I would say I think according to baseball info solution some of the data they provided us uh, shifts are actually have increased three times as much just since 2010 um, but early on it was something that we kind of adopted uh, as something that we thought that would just optimize our run prevention um, you know, it was kind of simple to uh, sell, so to speak, to uh, the Ned Yost, Rich Dower back in 2004, you know, when we had a mm -hmm. sort of a $27 million payroll. And, <laughs> and Doug and Gord sort of came to me and said, hey, feel free to explore different ideas, creative stuff. Um, How to find out, right? Yeah, I mean, it was, <laughs> yeah, we, we did, we had some, uh, we had some options that were, uh, that were able to explore there. And, uh, you know, to their credit, I mean, they were, they were, in my mind, I guess they were real pioneers in all this because, uh we got questioned a lot, um, especially by, you know, visit, visiting media when it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It kind of stands out. Um, but they stuck with it, and uh, we thought it was a big part of uh, the success we had there um, for the first, you know, three months of the season when we really actually hung around with some of the big boys. You hey, saw that note, the batting average balls in play, so the Brewers yeah. inside the top ten. And what does that number mean to you? Does that mean to you that it's working? This is a result of the shifting? Yeah, I mean, this is what we do to uh, it's one of the things we kind of look at to audit ourselves. Uh, pitching and defense is obviously intertwined. Um, but what this is basically doing is looking at the uh, the rate of hits on balls in play. So we're taking strikeouts out, we're taking home runs out, right. and we're looking more at just defensive efficiency. Um, and our goal at the start of any year, and there's a lot of things that happen in a baseball game in a baseball season that are, you know, luck, random, randomness, things that are out of our control. Um, but our goal when we look at that is to keep that number as far down below average as possible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, usually it's about 300 on balls in play. It's about the average. And right now we're hovering, you know, about 10 points below that, nice. which, is, which is pretty good. I mean, it sounds like a small amount, but, you know, over the course of the full season, you're talking about 4,000 mm -hmm. balls in play. That can be quite meaningful. Well, Carl uh, does a great job, and he's a big part of the Brewers' metrics in the baseball operations department. We appreciate you sharing a little bit with us. We'll continue this conversation throughout the year and uh, anytime you have some information let us know we'll do we'll thanks make a graphic out of it oh i appreciate thanks. it all right yeah. appreciate thanks it. for having me guys carl mueller director of research for the milwaukee brewers
Baseball on Fox Sports Wisconsin is brought to you by Piggly Wiggly, the official supermarket of Fox Sports Wisconsin. And by Marshfield Clinic. Don't just live, shine. 7 to 5, the Phillies lead the Brewers as we head to the bottom of the third inning. A lot of offense tonight. The Phillies have scored in all of their half innings today. For all to have a rough one. Carsoup.com trivia question Who was the first Brewers player to participate in an MLB All Star game? It's a good question. We'll have the answer for you in a few innings. Good to have Carl Muller up here and uh, having a chance to uh, chat with him before and after he comes on with us. And there's a lot of questions that uh, we could dive into the numbers with. But bottom line is uh, he does detailed work. He's been doing it for a long time and uh, the rest of the baseball operations department providing the information to Ron Renneke and his coaching staff that then they're responsible for providing to the players in their own way. There's got to be that yeah. chain of connection between all the data and then the players and how we see it on the field. It goes from very complicated to somewhat simplified when it gets to the player level. They don't need to know all the information. That's where the coaching staff comes in. They sift through it and they Give the player, the particular player, just enough to, uh, what he needs to know and to have an impact. You know, the other thing that's interesting to me is though those spray charts, they break them down into like, you know, last 10 at bats, last 50 at bats, 100 at bats, those types of things. And because a player, you might see a season spray chart that's pretty much, you know, spraying it all around. I mean, pretty standard, you know, sprays it around left to right pretty consistently. But, you know, you get a guy that. You know, in the last week of the last week might be pulling everything or everything's going to the opposite field and those are the kind of things you have to know when a team comes in say Chase Utley you know he's hitting everything up the middle it's good to know those things what he's doing right now in, in, in games and not so much what he's doing over the course of the season because every every hitter is going to go through stretches where they're hitting the baseball in different spots different times of the season. Well, Ramos Ramirez in a 2 2 count to start this bottom of the third for the Brewers. It's amazing to me that anybody gets hits ever at this point. The game has really caught up from the pitching and defense side as Ramirez goes back up the middle. Utley cannot make the play. And Ramirez will reach. And an open door here in the third inning for the Brewers. Yeah, it would have been interesting had Utley kept that one in the glove because Ramirez is not running all that well. That's one when you're talking about Utley shading up the middle. The spray chart show that Ramirez doesn't hit many ground balls over there. And this is one that goes right up his glove and into center field. That will be a base hit. Had he held on to it, he might have had to play at first base. So an infield hit for Ramirez. And that'll put Chris Davis at the plate. That's most uh, big league ball clubs now. I mean, every big league team has their own research department exploring the, uh, the numbers, the spray charts. Carving up at bats, pitch location, certain counts. And uh, Carl Muller and his uh, group, they've been at it a long time. He mentioned Ned Yost. That was uh, really the freedom that they had 2004, 2005 to go explore. As Davis, a little soft fly ball to left, Dominic Brown will run it down. So, one thing about Doug Melvin, I mean, he's, uh, I would consider Doug an old school general manager. He plays on feel a lot. He does. Understand the changing culture of uh, baseball metrics, but then he has a staff that provides all that data, and then it's up to really it's up to Doug and the coaches to kind of discern what's most important and how best to apply that to the field. And you're seeing so many shifts now. I'm curious to know when the pendulum is going to swing the offense's way again. Because pitching and defense has certainly rained. The runs are at an all-time low. Um, the scoring is down across Major League Baseball. <laughs> Lower the mound again? Yes. <laughs> May have to do that. Yeah. Go off a flat surface. The strike zone has been shrunk. You know, to help the offense. And he's got a lot of great arms out there pitching in the big leagues. 
A lot of specialized pitchers as well. No, Overbay had a big hit his last time up. Brewers thought they were going to roll tonight. Overbay was up with the bases loaded, and he launched one into the lows level in right field. Grand slam for Overbay, the fifth of his career. And the Brewers put five on the board in the bottom of the first, but the Phillies answered with five in the second, and they added one in the third. Overbay now with four home runs. He has 25 driven in. Three and one to count. Had the green light. Three and zero. Oh. Grand slams this year. Overbay joins Mark Reynolds, Jonathan Lucroy, and Scooter Jeanette. Lucroy's was a dramatic. Grand slam. The Brewers were trailing late. Kirk Gibson ordered a, a bean ball to Ryan Braun, then Lucroy hit a grand slam. And Ziegler. Next pitch. Full count to Overbay. And that ball's hit high and deep right center. Marlon Bird at the wall with room this time. It just got under it a little bit, kept it in the ballpark, but Lyle had a pretty good swing at it on a 3 2 pitch. Almost hit another one. A little bit too high. Well, they announced the uh, home run derby contestants. If Overbay goes deep again, I think he might. I mean, he might just get a call. Probably not. He gave it a run. Yeah, that's the National League. Troy Tulowitzki choosing Yasiel Puig, Giancarlo Stanton, Todd Frazier. There'll be a fifth added. The mystery man. Thursday, they'll make that announcement. Home run derby on Monday night at the All Star festivities. Carlos Gomez not among the first four. I know he's eager to have a chance to participate in the home run derby. He's uh, publicly politicking for that. <laughs> Gomez will be an All Star starter this year. I love his comment yesterday when asked, do you think? Participating in a home run derby to mess up your swing. He said, Every day in batting practice is home run derby for me. So and it is. So apparently, it's not going to mess up his swing. I mean, how many times can you swing and your helmet falls off? He won't even need a helmet at the home run derby. It's the same swing. I'd like to see Gomez in the home run derby. That yeah. would be entertaining. Right back to Kendrick, and he'll make the play for the out to end the inning. A couple of scoreless after the five run first. Speaking of home runs at the All Star game, we'll talk about a big one when we continue. The Splendid Splinter had one of the great All Star home runs. That's coming up after this.
July 8, 1941. The All-Star Game was played in Detroit at Brick Stadium. Bottom of the eighth inning, American League trailing 5-2. Joe DiMaggio doubled off Claude Passeau and scored on his brother Dom's RBI single. Ted Williams, two outs and runners at the corners. Hit a homer to right field. American League All-Stars walked off with a 7-5 win. The splendid splinter with an All-Star game walk-off homer. Don't forget the All-Star game coming up Tuesday on Fox. Get it started with a pregame show on Fox Sports 1. Brewers, as of right now, have four participants in the All-Star game. Top of the order for Philadelphia, Ben Revere. Followed by Rollins and Udley. And it has not been pretty for Willie Peralta. No, a 44 has. pitch second inning. No, it has not. Not able to command much of anything. And getting a lot of play with the fastball has been very inconsistent with the slider tonight. So a couple of change-ups and threw a few to Ryan Howard. But other than that, it's been fastball slider for him. Phillies batted around. Yeah, the second inning scored five runs on five hits. Revere drove in two with a double, a ground rule double. Bouncing ball to third. Ramirez will gobble it up, and Revere is retired for the first out. Here's Jimmy Rollins. Phillies have scored in each of their first three innings. But Willie is still in this game. Thanks to a five run bottom of the first. It's just a two run ball game. Rollins skies one out to left center. Gomez calls it and there is out number two. And Brewers desperately need Willie to be able to, you know, get back into control here and eat up some innings. Brewers do not have a long reliever out in the bullpen. And we saw Gorzolani loosening up in that second inning. That would have been a disaster for this Brewers bullpen, you know, going rest of the way in the first half before the All Star break to have to eat up seven innings. Well, this is a winnable game for Willie Peralta. He can hang in there and shut the Phillies down. Figure the Brewers have some offense in them tonight. Hudley drove in two with a single in the second. Stole the base as well. Has three runs batted in tonight. 45 RBIs for the year. After that 44 pitch second inning, Peralta came back with a 12 pitch third. And he needed a quick inning. He's got two outs here, nine pitches thus far in this inning. Strike two. See, he just doesn't like it out there. I mean, he's so far, so close to home plate. Even the outside corner is something he doesn't like too much. There's a reason why he's that close. He likes the ball in on him, close to his body, pulls the hands in, and is able to get the barrel to bat on it. Two good pitches on the outside corner to start him out. There's another. Got him. Called strike three. Chase Ugly down on strikes. So an 11 pitch. Third inning for Willie Peralta. Check it, fourth inning. And a one, two, three frame. Peralta starting to dial it in now. Brewers down a pair.
<laughs> That's an easy way to get yourself on television. You make signs about us. It's a guarantee. I Sophia think it's, got a proposal. I there, think huh? his best chance is for me to go fishing with him. <laughs> That's right. You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, you got no chance on the other one. But not a way to be brave. You don't go, you don't get, right? Logan Schaefer leads off for the crew. It is 7-5 Philadelphia. Bottom of the fourth inning. Brewers have had base runners the last two innings after their five run first. Unable to cash it in. Had a lead off single last inning. And Kyle Kendrick true to form. Troubles in first inning and then able to settle down. Foul pop. Will it stay playable? Long run, and that's in the seats. Well, Schaefer back in the starting lineup. He was in the lineup on Sunday playing for the injured Ryan Braun. Called up from AAA last Friday and uh, Sunday against Matt Latos was his day. Schaefer delivered with a couple of hits. He scored two runs. He's been dealing with a slump at the plate before he left. He was sent down to AAA Nashville, but a good way to respond. Yeah. That one had tripled a number of very nice plays in the outfield on Sunday. Well, he went down to Triple A Nashville, hit 237, but he felt like just the the rhythm of getting in to the everyday flow, playing every day in the outfield. He played center and left. Got the chance to swing the bat every day, and he's hoping to make an impact while he's here as he's down on strikes. And one gone in the fourth. Now time for you to tweet your photo using hashtag WISFANPHOTO. Have a chance to show it in an upcoming broadcast. It's all brought to you by AT&T. Here's Willie Peralta with one out. Peralta pops it up shallow right and it'll be bird to make the call two up and two down for Kendrick and he has retired five in a row now and seven of his last eight yeah, starting to locate those pitches much better as is Willie Peralta but Kendrick doesn't have that big fastball to go to he backs out at about 90 miles an hour really had no command at all in the first inning yeah, but much better since. Keeping the Brewers a little bit off balance off the end and down on the handle. Gomez with a big hack. See, when you ask, will the home run derby affect Carlos Gomez's swing if he makes it? The answer would be no. That would be a swing. I'd like to see that swing in a home run derby. I think everyone would. There's no doubt he will give you max effort in the home run hitting contest. Gomez hits it sharply through the hole, a base hit. Carlos Gomez with two hits out of the leadoff spot tonight. He's hit the ball hard all three times. And that lineup change by Renicki is having an effect this evening. Another off speed pitch. Gomez able to go down and get it. There's that split change up that he throws. And that big hack able to find a hole in the left field. Waits back that violent swing and able to make good solid contact three times in a row. Scooter Jeanette takes a ball. Nice. 
Scooter hit one off the end of the bat in the second inning. Little one hopper to Udley had a home run in the first. Gomez stole third base in that second inning. Looks like he wants to run here against Kendrick. Not feeling much better today. You could tell around the batting cage. He was uh, not feeling well last night. Very quiet. Didn't look very good, but much different today. Back to his old self. Jeanette, and that's a base hit. Gomez makes the turn on his way to third. And with two outs, the Brewers get something cooking here. First and third. Scooter Jeanette's second hit. Yeah, right off the end of the bat again, and just out of Utley's reach at second. He might have mistimed his leap a bit. Might have thought it was hit a little bit harder than it actually was. There's that uh, split change up down the strike zone. Scooter off the end and just out of Utley's reach to keep the inning alive. Nice easy swing by Scooter Jeanette. Keeps that bat in the hitting zone a good long time. Able to make enough contact to get the base hit. So you got Gomez with two hits, Jeanette with two hits. And here comes Luke Croy. Tying run at first. Play in the fourth. With a lot of offense already. 14 hits combined, each club with seven. And the Phillies up seven to five. Luke Roy comes in. Third best in the league in batting average today. Matt Adams, who had a walk off homer for the Cardinals last night to beat the Pirates, leapfrogged him. So Tulowitzki is the league leader, then Adams of the Cardinals, and then Luke Roy. Jonathan also second in the league in doubles behind Paul Goldschmidt. Takes a strike, one ball, one strike, right on the edge. Kendrick from the stretch and the 1 1 Luke Croy out in front of it popped him up in the infield and that is going to get Kendrick and the Phillies out of the inning the Brewers strand two, seven five Philadelphia we go to the fifth at Miller Park. At Miller Park, the Brewers trailing seven to five. And in our current community tonight, the Milwaukee Brewers Community Involvement Initiative, known as the Community Achievers Award, recognizes residents throughout the state of Wisconsin each month during the season 
for displaying extraordinary efforts in their community. Now this Community Achievers program is available for all adults and school-aged children throughout the state to participate in. And with all of the news about Ryan Braun being out of the lineup and lineup changes, there was also some discussion, Brian, of the starting rotation, how consistent it's been, but the possibility of adding another with Jimmy Nelson. All right, thanks, Sophia. Yeah, Jimmy Nelson is uh, having a great year at Triple A. Of course, he came up and won a game for the Brewers against the Marlins earlier this season. No Brewers starting pitcher has been on the disabled list yet. That was uh, when Gallardo was skipped a couple of days with a hamstring injury. So Nelson went seven innings last night of shutout ball. Rock, he's got a 1 4 6 earned run average. Yeah, he's been unbelievable. I mean, he's giving up nothing down in the minor leagues, and he looked very good against the Marlins. They asked him after the game, he said he didn't feel comfortable. He felt like he was out of rhythm, didn't have command of his pitches, but he looked pretty good in beating the Marlins in that game. Electric fastball and uh, pretty good slider to go with it. I just wonder, you, know, you hope you don't, uh, you know, all the talk about Nelson and they like to bolster up that starting rotation. You just don't, uh, I think the Brewers are very good at making sure that their guys are ready when they come up. Mm -hmm. You don't want to push that, uh, push that envelope too much. You want to rather have them down there maybe a couple of starts longer than it needs to be than a little bit too soon. But we'll see how it works out. Hey, you see the brew crew and the zoo for one low price. Twenty dollars gets you one terrace reserve ticket to a select Brewers game, one adult admission ticket to the Milwaukee County Zoo, and a free beverage tumbler. Visit Brewers.com slash zoo. So a leadoff walk to Howard. Here's Marlon Bird now. And Peralta. Trying to get through five innings. This pitch count is very high. He's at 92 pitches. He's had a couple of good innings. Quick pitch innings anyway. And even though he's given up seven runs, he still is right in there in this one, but imperative that he keeps the Phillies down. Give his offense a chance to come back. 44 pitch second inning. And you think about that the way that inning started three infield hits and a walk. Could be much different here tonight. But then things kind of unraveled on him at the back end of that inning. Philly started to hit some baseballs pretty hard. There were five runs on five hits. In that second inning a couple of walks. Two stolen bases. But a lot of game remaining for the Brew Crew. And only down a pair. Phillies have not been a team that has scored a whole lot of runs here lately. And the Brewers are in that same boat in the month of July. This is the second of a four game series. Saw Gorzolani down in the bullpen, second time he's been warming up tonight. And a swing and a miss. So Peralta strikes out Bird. Second time he's got him. First time in his second inning, he got him on a slider. This is a fastball upstairs. Bird swings right through it, right on the outer half. Gets there quickly, that fastball from Willie. Fourth strikeout for Peralta. One away for Cody Ashey. With Ryan Howard at first. Bouncing ball, and that is fair down the line. Hits the sidewall. Schaefer hustling to run it down. And that's going to be a double for Ashy. And that's not reviewable. Lyle Overby thought that was a foul ball, but not reviewable because it's in front of the umpire at first base. You read his lips, he said it was foul. Can't do anything about it though. That's pretty close. That's kind of been the way the day has gone for Willie Peralta. So now second and third with one out and Dominic Brown coming up who homered off Peralta his last time up. 
Wild trying to get off the bag as far as he can, just stretches and just not able to get there. And that's about as close as it gets. First base umpire Jeff Kellogg called it fair, and that's going to be it for Willie. Four and a third tonight for Willie Peralta. Rough day at the office. Got the lefty Brown coming up. Gorzolani in the bullpen. Well, Renicki's not taking the ball just yet. No, he's not. Might be wanting to give Gorzolani a little time. And as soon as the umpire gets out there, Ron says, oh, yeah, go ahead. We're going to make a change here. So Willie is out. And this will be one to put in the rearview mirror. He'll have another one right before the All-Star break on Sunday. Well, tough night for Willie Peralta as he exits after four and a third. Finishes with four Ks, but seven runs on the board, all earned, and he's got a couple of runners out there still. And as promised earlier in the broadcast, we have the AT&T fan photo of the game. You can tweet your photo to hashtag WISFANPHOTO for a chance to have it shown in an upcoming broadcast. All brought to you by AT&T. And a good one from Chris. That's a good face. I don't know if Chris is the dog or the dude, but either way, it's a good face for both of them. Animal shots are always going to get on the air. Here's Gorzolani now, Rock. Yeah, back to back days for Gorzolani. Pitched last night and tossed a scoreless sixth inning. Had included a couple of strikeouts. They started the year on the DL, coming off of left shoulder surgery. It was recalled and put back on the active roster back on June 14th. Still has not allowed a, an earned run so far this year. He's been very good. Now, well, Giovanni Gallardo was taken out of a game earlier this year in the third. This is the first time that a pitcher, a starting pitcher for the Brewers, has come out before completing five innings due to ineffectiveness. That's how good the rotation has been, but an ERA buster for Peralta today. Seven in so far. Runners at second and third still belong to Peralta and Gorzolani will face Dominic Brown with one out and the Phillies up seven to five. This is the first time Gorzolani's come in with men on base. Ordinarily when he comes into a game is to start an inning. Gorzolani coming back from that shoulder surgery. Takes him a while to get loosened up, get started. They wanted to ease him back, but being thrown into the fire here tonight after pitching last night.
Orzelani with seven innings so far this year. Coming back in June has not allowed an earned run yet. One ball one strike to Dominic Brown. Tom in the second year of a two year deal he signed. And a swing roll last year a little bit out of the bullpen and made a few starts as well. Before the injury. Yeah, that was a uh, direct shot off of Lucroy that time. Fastball Brown right on it, but fouled it right off of Jonathan behind home plate. Bingo right on the side of the mask. All in a day's work for Luke Croy. <laughs> Doesn't phase him at all, does it? Big pitch here for Gorzolani. Second and third, one away, the 2 2, and Brown shoots one through the hole, a base hit. One run is in, that's Howard. Here comes Ashy. The throw to the plate is not in time. A two RBI single by Dominic Brown, and it's 9 5, Philadelphia. I closed the book on Willie Peralta, nine runs in four and a third innings. And Brown stays in there. And able to sneak one through that drawn in infield and pretty close at home play but actually able to beat it. And a pretty good at bat for Don McBrown lefty versus lefty. Brown with three RBIs tonight. So the Brewers down four here is Coy Hill switch hitting catcher. Peralta goes four to third with eight hits, nine runs all earned. Three walks and four strikeouts. Man, it really all came down to the breaking ball for Willie Peralta tonight. Just couldn't get it over the plate. And the Phillies knew it, sitting on the fastball, and they started to hit him pretty hard. That ball's lined into left. Davis able to run it down. Brown has to retreat. So Hill lines out for the second out of the inning. And still a runner at first with two away. And for a guy, Kyle Kendrick, that hasn't been getting a whole lot of run support, how's nine yeah. sound for him? Through the first five innings. Right. Yeah, getting a month's worth of runs here tonight. Willie Peralta's ERA jumped from 3.35 to 3.95. Now we'll see Peralta again against the Cardinals on Sunday. Speaking of run support for Kyle Kendrick. So if you go back even to last year, last August, he's in a stretch of 24 starts. He's 3 and 13 in that stretch. And a major league worst 2.94 runs of support for nine innings. That gives you an idea of yeah. the Phillies offense in support of Kyle Kendrick. So that is a major change here tonight. Trying to shoot that inside corner. Gorzolani thought he had it, but just a tear off the inside corner. Three balls, two strikes. Oh, no. 
The pitcher Kendrick at the plate. It's going to send Brown on the move. He takes off and a swing and a foul ball. Now the Brewers started the day with a four game lead over the Cardinals. St. Louis beat Pittsburgh yesterday. Leapfrogging the Pirates in the division standings. Kendrick in the right. And Schaefer will haul it in. Side retired, but the Phillies score two more. Nine to five. The Phillies have the lead. Ramirez will bat when we continue. For the Brewers so far. We've got plenty of time though. See if they can get the bats going as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Brewers scored five in the bottom of the first. Carsu.com trivia who was the first Brewers player to be uh, to participate in an MLB All Star game. And if you said Tommy Harper, you would be correct. He pinch ran in the 1970 All Star game for the American League as a Milwaukee Brewer. And look up Tommy Harper to get a chance. I mean, he has a pretty good career. Guy could hit. Steal some bases. Hit and run, yeah. Well, it'll be Ramirez to start it. Brewers looking to start the march. Aramis has been on twice tonight. He walked and scored in the first. He reached on an infield hit in the third. Kendrick has put up three zeros since his five run first inning. Grand slam by Overbay in that frame. And a shot right to Utley. Line drive out. Kind of the way it's been going with this Brewers offense since the first inning. A lot of balls hit off the end of the bat. Kendrick's starting to get pretty good control of that cut fastball. Cut fastball, the split changeup. Well, Chris Davis will bat as the club leader in home runs on the Powerball home run leaderboard. Got Gomez and Reynolds tied with 13. Reynolds out of the lineup today. Overbay's in there, and he goes deep. The Cardinals and the Pirates are in the seventh inning. That's a 4 4 game. All tied up in St. Louis. Cardinals have a half game lead over the Pirates. Who do you root for there? Can both of them lose? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and two on Davis. The Reds, who are a half game behind the Cardinals. 
And uh, tied with the Pirates in the division. Cincinnati is trailing the Cubs 5 to 2. That game's going into the seventh inning in Cincinnati. And they played a doubleheader today. The Reds won the first game 4 to 2 behind Johnny Cueto, who's now 9 and 6 with a 2 0 3 ERA. That's a five game series, isn't it? I'm not sure. I know that the doubleheader today yeah, four game or one. Yeah, you may be right. Yeah, Thursday. Let me effort. No, I got it. You're in. That's a day game Thursday. You're right. Yeah. That's a five game series. So the Cubs have the lead in game two of that day night doubleheader today. Brewers start today with a four game lead over the Cardinals four and a half over the Pirates and the Reds after their game one win. And still the best record in the National League but Renicki acknowledges the ball club is is not playing well making some mistakes. Just trying to weather the storm here and try to pull out of it. Before you get to the all-star break well, except for today the pitching has been good. The defense has been good. Just the offense has been very lackluster lately and the base running hasn't been all that great. Well, two of the three have been pretty good. That's why the Brewers have been in just about every one of these games. And just not finishing off games like they had been for the first three months. They just wonder how much effort and how much focus went into the first three months of the season. For this team, and you know, maybe dragging a little bit. You know, sometimes the fatigue comes mentally. You know, a lot much before the, the the physical fatigue sets in. A lot of road games in that stretch. In June, 16 out of 19 days on the road. As Davis, shallow center, Revere will make the catch, and there is the second out. Well, don't forget, coming up Saturday, a full day of MLB action beginning with the Brew Crew and the Cardinals on Fox Sports 1. And then Baseball Night in America on Fox. It's the Pirates and the Reds. So it's all about the NL Central on Fox this weekend. Doubleheader begins Saturday at 2.30. On FS1, continues at 6 p.m. Central on Fox. Streaming live on Fox Sports Go, by the way. You'll be doing that game, right, Saturday? Yep. I'll be on Fox Sports 1 with uh, Gabe Kapler. Yeah. Overbay grounds out, and that will retire the side. Kendrick with his best inning. Three up, three down. It's still 9 5 Phillies.
Philadelphia been a wild one here tonight at Miller Park. Kyle Kendrick has settled down after a five run first. Ramos Ramirez. Showed a little glove work yesterday. Big play in the game with the bases loaded. Our Southwest Airlines non stoppable play. Stranded the bases loaded. Kept Marco Estrada and the Brewers in the game. The Brewers just couldn't quite get over the hump. And they lost three to two. It wasn't happening on purpose to get it over there a little bit quicker and got his man. New pitcher is Brandon Kensler. So Rosalani finishes off the fifth. Now Kensler will have the sixth. It hasn't pitched since Wednesday against the Blue Jays in Toronto. Gave up a run in two thirds of an inning. Allowed the walk off home run to Edwin Encarnacion to lose that ball game. 35th appearance for Brandon. A one and three record and a 402 earned run average. At the top of the Phillies order to deal with in this sixth inning. So Ben Revere will start it. He'll be followed by Jimmy Rollins and then Chase Udley. Is a busy box score for the Philadelphia Phillies. Scored a run in the first. On an ugly sack fly five runs in the second inning on five hits. Revere had one of two two RBI hits in that inning. He and Utley. Coy Hill had an RBI infield hit. And the Phillies got another one on a homer by Dominic Brown in the fourth or rather in the third. And then two in the fifth inning. And ben Revere takes a healthy hack up there for a leadoff hitter. He's certainly not a guy you look at and say this guy's going to take a heck of a swing up there at the plate, but he does. That is a full blown hack up there. He doesn't get cheated. He drove one into the gap in that second inning. Got a ground rule double that drove in two runs. Former Minnesota twin Ben Revere slicing left field. Davis had him played perfectly. You can thank Carl Muller for that, right? Yeah. Well, he hits it to the opposite field. Normally it's going to be in the air and down the line and left, and uh, that's why you put your left fielder right there. I feel like we need to set up a, an online chat with Carl Muller. You know, let fans ask questions and we can uh, get into the metrics a little bit. What if he do that for us? A lot of that information he's got to keep to himself. I think you just forced him into it, I think. I mean, just make him do it. Yeah, I think he just did. You ever been involved in an online chat? <laughs> yes, I have. Have you? Of course you have. I think those are kind of going away. Right when I first got here, we, we did a few of those, remember? No. That was before... Uh, Twitter basically was Twitter is now your online chat. So maybe we'll get Carl's Twitter handle and you can ask him yourself. Some sensitive material though. Have you ever been involved in a Twitter chat? No. You don't respond to anybody on your Twitter handle? I don't know how to. <laughs> It's just outgoing and <laughs> outgoing mail. <laughs> no inbox. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm afraid to look at some of that stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, well. Oh, they can respond to you? Oh, sure. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Forget that. At Brewers Fan Camp. Outgoing only. <laughs> Today's Twitter Tuesday, as a matter of fact. Maybe we'll get Sophia up here and she can show you how to answer questions. I feel like tonight might be the night you start to answer some Twitter questions. I mean, uh, you know, people tweeting me on, on, on Brewers fan camp, you mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, because we were answering Twitter questions on the uh, pregame show. Right. We did that as Kensler strikes out Rollins. And two outs in the inning.
Well, a reminder, Fox Sports Supports is proud to collaborate with Stand Up to Cancer, a groundbreaking initiative created to accelerate innovative cancer research that gets new therapies to patients quickly in order to save lives now. For more information, visit foxsportssupports.com. And a strike to Chase Udley. I know Sophia has access to your uh, Brewers Fantasy Camp Twitter handle. Yeah. So maybe we'll we'll have her fire up some questions for you. How about that? Since it is Twitter Tuesday, there's a bouncer. Jeanette lays out to his feet, throws him out. Great play by Scooter Jeanette. And a 1-2-3 inning for Brandon Kensler. So Jeanette with a couple of hits, including a homer, and now a gem defensively. Bottom of the six coming up. Brewers down four. Milwaukee Brewers baseball on Fox Sports Wisconsin is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. By the Wisconsin Lottery, reminding you to please play responsibly. And by Miller Lite. Now in the original can, it's Miller time. Under the lights of Miller Park on a Tuesday night. Roof is open. Beautiful night here. Brewers find themselves down four. And after a five-run first inning and a 5-1 Brewers lead after one inning of play, the Brewers have some work to do tonight. Bottom of the sixth, Segura leads off. And a chopper to third. Ashy takes care of Segura for the first out. Well, he's making it look easy since that first inning. Not throwing hard, 88 to 90 miles an hour with the fastball. The split change has been good. And he's had the Brewers out on the end of the bat with that cut fastball since the first inning. He's collected himself nicely tonight. Kendrick getting a lot of ground ball outs facing Logan Schaefer here as Schaefer takes a ball. Schaefer getting to start for Braun tonight. Ryan out with lower back spasms again. Braun did play last night, had two hits. And a no go tonight. Schaefer looking for his first hit. You had Mark Reynolds moving into the on deck circle. And a strike from Kendrick. Two and one. There's Wei Chung Wong. Loosening in the bullpen.
Well, Kinsler puts up a scoreless inning. Two and two on Schaefer. Schaefer, a base hit to right. And thinking about two, big aggressive turn. So Logan Schaefer continues to hit. That a couple of hits on Sunday in Cincinnati. And a single to right with one away. There's a base runner for Mark Reynolds. Not be able to hook that change up into right field. Hey, the Brewers rivalry with the Cardinals returns this Friday through Sunday. They battle for the top spot in the NL Central. Call 414-902-4000. Visit Brewers.com to reserve your spot today. Good series here at Miller Park coming up over the weekend. It's a season series all even at three wins apiece between the Brewers and the Cardinals. It'll be Gallardo, Estrada, and Peralta on the mound for Milwaukee. The only known starter for St. Louis, at least that they've announced, will be Adam Wainwright on Saturday. So Marco Estrada against Wainwright. That'll be on Fox Sports 1. And a game that'll start just after 3 o'clock. Reynolds hammers one to right. Bird is going back and he is out of room. Home run, Mark Reynolds. And it's a two run deficit now as Mark Reynolds homers for the first time since early June. Got to go back to June 2nd. Number 14 for Reynolds. And you love the way he did it, taking it to right field. A line drive, pull it out of here. Well, he got a ball game once again. Brewers flexing their muscles tonight with three homers. And Reynolds put a nice swing on that one and driving that one to the opposite field and just sneaking it over that right field wall. So strong, doesn't have to overswing, and baseball jumped off his back that time. Third home run of the night for the Brew Crew. Defensive swing by Gomez. Pinch hit two run homer Mark Reynolds still just one out Gomez at the top of the order trying to get it started all over again Gomez at the plate tonight presented by Wendy's with the ball sharply to second in the first inning then he doubled down the left field line in the second. Had a single between the hole at third and short in the fourth. Two for three tonight. Pushes his batting average back up over 300. Currently hitting 302. And Gomez strikes out. So the second out of the inning. Second strikeout for Kendrick. And here comes Jeanette. Scooter Jeanette with two out. Two hits tonight. Jeanette's been a hot hitter for a while now. Coming into tonight, his last 35 games, he was hitting 347. And that is foul. Just missed the line. Yeah, that's one of the reasons right there. You saw it taking that pitch away from, getting on top of it and lining it into left field. Just missed the line that time. Does that as well as anybody. Well, you got Zach Duke up alongside of Wei Chung Wong. Interesting to see who comes into the ballgame. That two run 
home run by Reynolds got Duke active. Oh and to the count to Jeanette. And Scooter, a little flare into shallow center field on the run, Rollins, and he can't make the play. Scooter Jeanette is aboard with two outs on his third hit. And the flare falls for Jeanette, and the inning is alive for Milwaukee in the sixth. Yeah, there was a day that Jimmy Rollins makes that play easily. He got there, just missed it. He a base hit, that brings up Lucroy. Just a little bit out of his reach. He's lost a step or two over the years. Keeps getting alive. And now the Brewers bring the tying run to the plate in Jonathan Lucroy. And Lucroy has been up with men on base once tonight actually twice he flew out to center field in the second with a runner at third base and then he popped up with two on in the fourth and he gets another shot here with a runner at first nine seven the Phillies have a two run lead after the Reynolds pinch hit Homer. Now Luke Croy, a chance to keep it going in the sixth. Just one of those games it feels like double digits is going to be what it takes to win. And still a lot of baseball to be played. A 25 pitch first inning, the Brewers scored five runs. Jeanette and Overbay with home runs. Overbay's was a grand slam. Then he settled down, put up zeros until this sixth inning. Lucroy in the right field. Bird playing very deep, lays out, can't catch it. Jeanette on his way to third. He'll stop there. The throw comes into second. And another one falls. Lucroy is in with a double, and the Brewers have two on in scoring position with two outs. Now the Brewers doing to the Phillies what the Phillies did to the Brewers back in the second inning. Tell a cheap hits to fall in, and now the tying run at second base. Remember how that Phillies second inning started. A three infield hits and a walk. Uh, just missed that one in the glove, but it right out. And that's going to end the day for Kyle Kendrick. Ryan Sandberg makes a call to the bullpen. The Brewers have out hit the Phillies 11 9. And Aramis Ramirez will bat with a chance to tie this one up, maybe even give him the lead. Kendrick on his way out. Pitching change here at Miller Park will set up the new hurler. When we continue.
just a couple of men on and the Brewers looking to tie it up. Hey with kids and seniors discount days kids 14 and under and seniors 60 plus can save up to 50 percent on all weekday afternoon games at Miller Park including this Thursday's game against the Phillies for details call 414-902-4000 or visit Brewers.com slash fan values today. Big spot here bottom of the sixth inning the Brewers have two in on a Mark Reynolds pinch hit homer and Ramirez coming up against Justin DeFreitas. Yeah, started the year on the roster with the Phillies got sent down mid April got called back up on May 25th and has been pretty good since a 255 earned run average in game number 24. Back to back hits Jeanette and Lucroy. And here is Ramirez first pitch down and away. We were fortunate to have two on here with two outs a little flare by Jeanette just out of the reach of Rollins and then Bird laid out for a Lucroy drive in and out of his glove. See if Ramirez can cash him in. Two balls no strikes. Aramis moved back into the cleanup spot here tonight. He's responded with a hit and a walk. And a line drive out to first. Back in the fifth inning. Two and zero. Oh, Defreitas deals. Ramirez takes a strike. Perfectly placed on the outside corner. All well, breaking balls from Defreitas. Doesn't throw hard. Slabbed about 82 miles an hour. Two and one. And it's three and one now. Got a base open at first. Chris Davis is on deck. And all breaking pitches to Aramis Ramirez in this at bat. Let's see if they go right after him or pitch around him and go after Davis. Tying run at second and Luke Croy. But Jeanette over at third and Ramirez pulls one to Rollins. And the side is retired. So the Brewers get a pair, but they strand a pair. They have cut it to two. It is 9 7. Is Mark Reynolds a pinch hit? Two run opposite field homer. We go to the seventh and the Phillies on top. Not over 26,000 on hand to see this one. We are headed to the seventh. Six in the books, and it's 9 7 Phillies. Brewers have out hit them at this point. Now, well, Renicky had Wei Chung Wong 
up in the throwing in the bullpen when it was a four run game. Now that it's a two run game, it's going to be Zach Duke. Yeah, uh, Wong has not pitched in too many close games this year. So after the Brewers, it's a little bit closer. Zach Duke last pitched uh, last night uh, against the Phillies and tossed a scoreless seventh inning. Has not allowed a run in his last seven appearances with 47 strikeouts and 35 and two thirds innings this year. 42nd appearance, a 4 0 record. Look at the earned run average at 126 for the Brewers left hander. Duke will have Ryan Howard to start it, then Marlon Bird, then another lefty, and Cody Ashey. Uh, Brewers bullpen outstanding last night, four scoreless innings, and uh, the first two guys out of the pen able to get the job done. Now the Pittsburgh St. Louis game is in the ninth inning now still tied at four Cardinals won last night on a walk off. That was a scoreless game going to the ninth last night before Adams went deep all tied up again tonight in St. Louis. So here's Howard. Oh for two with a walk he walked and scored in the fifth. Nine seven Philadelphia. Up and in straightens him up. Last night, Zach Duke, in a scoreless inning, allowed a hit, did have a strikeout through 20 pitches last night. Yeah, struck out Ryan Howard. Duke dropping his ERA to one two six and Howard fouls it back. Well, the Brewers back to carrying seven relievers now. You know, carrying eight for a couple of weeks there. But a bullpen that has worked a lot. And with a four run lead, it was going to be Wong to pitch, but Ron Rennie doesn't want to use the young man in close games. And that's all the Brewers have been playing pretty much all season long is close games. It's been difficult for the Brewers skipper to find innings for Wong. And that's a good and a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Means they're playing good, playing well. It's close games, but doesn't want to use them in tough spots. And that puts the pressure on everybody else. Now Wong will keep himself ready. Still big decisions for the Brewers to make on Wong as they start getting deeper and deeper into this contending season. As Howard a little bit late rolls one over to Ramirez. And there is the out and we check in with Sophia talking about bullpen help the Brewers uh, might have a couple coming up soon and Tyler Thornburg and Jim Henderson what's the latest on those guys Sophia. Yeah, sort of a mixed bag of news uh, for Tyler Thornburg. He did finally start playing catch and he is scheduled to throw a bullpen in a few more days. But Ron Renneke said that they are surprised that they didn't think that the rehab process would take as long as it is. But they are hoping they want to get him to a place where he's pain free before he starts really ramping up the rehab process, just taking a little longer than expected. But better news for Jim Henderson. Um, he threw one and one third scoreless innings uh, on Monday in the Arizona League. He's going to be heading up to double A. So Says the velocity is really good the last outing and he's moving along faster than they thought. As Marlon Bird pops up and you, you start talking about you know making an acquisition in the bullpen. I think every team in contention right. is probably looking to add to their bullpen but Doug Melvin might have a couple of guys that he could insert into that bullpen that could uh, make a serious impact. Yeah it'd be nice to have both of those guys come back but I mean the bullpen has been pretty good. I mean. Who do you send down? I mean, how many can you have out there? And 
How good was Tyler Thornburg early in the season before he started to tire a bit and not really used to working out of the bullpen as much as he was early this season and Jim Henderson a healthy Jim Henderson would certainly be a big shot in the arm to this pitching staff a guy who was going to start the season as the closer before a tight shoulder had Renicky put K Rod in that role K Rod's been great. And then you get a guy back who's had who has closing experience has been a successful closer. That could be a big boost. To the bullpen K Rod is open for a save chance tonight and the preparation begins in the seventh inning. Two and the count on Cody Ashey. Two hits tonight drove in a run. In the fifth and a swing and a miss two and one. There's that slider from Zach Duke that arm angle tough on lefties. And catches that outside corner. Bouncing ball Segura nice easy hop and Zach Duke with a three up three down seventh. Stretch time at Miller Park. Lyle Overbay, who hit a grand slam earlier, he'll hit second. Brewers down two. Dean Roscoe playing the organ at Miller Park. The legend lives. 9 7 our score. The Phillies have the lead. Our subway in game box score. Been a lot of offense for both teams tonight. The Brewers have actually out hit the Phillies. Yeah, the lineup changed tonight with Braun out. Gomez. A couple of hits in the leadoff spot. Jeanette with three hits tonight. Luke Croy, a couple of knocks as well. Now we'll see if the Brewers can continue to march back. They led 5 1. Phillies regained the lead with a five run second on Peralta and then added to it. It was 9 5 at one point before Reynolds' two run homer last inning. DeFreitas still on the mound. Here is Chris Davis. And see the look on Chris's face. He had a hanger. He missed it. He's looking for slider. Got it. It was a hanger, and he fouled it straight back. Oh, and two to Davis. Chris, another guy stands right on top of home plate. His hands hanging over the inside corner. And Chase Sutley does the same thing, but on the left side. Look at those hands, how close they are to home plate. Just daring you to come inside. Davis, a slugging percentage of 482. He Ranks among National League leaders in extra base hits. He's ninth in the National League with 38 extra base hits. He's got great power. 
to all fields. Pole to pole power, they say. His hand just off that inside corner. Still able to cover the outside corner. Looking for one he can handle. One ball, two strikes. And he pops this one up. Marlon Bird will ease over. And DeFreitas retires his first batter of the seventh inning. One gone for the Brewers with Overbay coming up. Lyle Overbay in our shining moment tonight brought to you by Marshfield Clinic a first inning grand slam no doubt about it gave the Brewers a quick 5-1 lead fifth career slam for Overbay and it looks like Ryan Sandberg is going to make a double switch here so DeFreitas is out face one batter in the seventh and Overbay going through a scouting report with Johnny Naren for the next hurler. We'll take a timeout. We'll set up the new pitcher when we continue. 9 7, the Brewers down two. Bat Lyle Overbay will face a left-hander. Jake Diekman on to work. Getting taken off the 40-man roster is usually not a good sign for a veteran utility player, but now on FoxSportsWisconsin.com, Andrew Grumman writes how Jeff Bianchi had that happen to him, but fought through it and earned a spot back on the Brewers. Bianchi had a big hit yesterday. Andres Blanco will come in to play third base. On the double switch, the new pitcher is Jake Diekman, hard throwing lefty. Yeah, averaging over 12 strikeouts per nine innings, 55 punch outs, and 41 innings of work. But he has allowed four home runs this year out of the bullpen. Overbay batting with one out. Gene Segura to follow. Diekman, by no means a situational left hander, he is. A guy that they count on heavily with the lead late in games. And part of a pretty good power trio down there. Finishing with Papelbon as their closer. It's a tough matchup for Overbay. And Ken Giles down there, a right-hander that was throwing 99 miles an hour. And they got Dickman at 97, 98 with a slider. Got the slider by Overbay on that pitch. Well, the Phillies have had a down year this year, but their winning combination in the bullpen is very good. Diekman, Giles, Papelbon. Papelbon saved the game yesterday, his 20th. 
Two and two. And a swing and a miss. Over base strikes out. Out number two in the inning. They're just bringing it. He's throwing 97. And he's been throwing. He threw some sliders to over Bay to get him. In that at bat. 56 punch outs for Deakman that ranks fourth amongst National League relievers this mm. year. He can bring it. And he zips one in at 98 to get ahead of Segura. Just aren't many left handers with this kind of velocity in the big leagues. Well, there's a lot of talk that Deakman could emerge as the Phillies closer at some point. Put that one right by Segura. One and two the count. 98. And he struck him out to end the inning. Deakman wipes out Overbay and Segura. A couple of keys. Still 9-7. We're on our way to the eighth inning at Miller Park. The Phillies are coming up. Park 9 7. The Phillies lead the Brewers. And Renicky going to make a call to his bullpen. A reminder first our Miller Light, what's on tap? Tomorrow, 6 30 is airtime. Kyle Loesch against Roberto Hernandez. First pitch just after 7 o'clock. That'll be game three of this four game series. And Loesch, a nine game winner. Looking for a bounce back start after his last time out. Wei Chung Wong is in for Milwaukee to try to keep the Phillies at nine runs in the eighth. And it's been a while for Wong. It's 12th appearance for him, an 1140 earned run average for Wong. Last pissed on June 29th against the Rockies right here at Miller Park. Pitched a scoreless inning in the third, including a strikeout. The rule five draftee from the Pittsburgh Pirates Brewers picked him up back on December. And looking to put up a scoreless inning keep the Brewers close. Dominic Brown will lead off for Philadelphia. Brown homered earlier in this one. Crowd enjoying a Wang Chung as Wong gets loose. It's kind of his theme music now. Fly ball left field. Davis long way to go. 
But he'll run it down. One pitch, one out for Wong. Not often Ron Renicki uses him in a close game, two run game. But uh, because of the short start by Willie tonight, he is forced to bring him in. And he certainly doesn't want to use Smith or K Rod in these situations. Wooten pitched two innings yesterday. Well, could this be the night Wei Chung Wong wins his first big league game? He's still searching. Maybe the Brewers can come back for him. There's a good fastball in there for a strike. Coy Hill. His outings have been few and far between. Relievers typically, you know, they pitch eight to 12, 14 times a month. Wong had four outings in April, four in May, just three appearances in June. And as Rock mentioned, it's been since June 29th against the Rockies that he last pitched. That was that last Sunday here. The Brewers have it in mind that Wong will eventually be a starting pitcher. And a swing and a miss. So Wong took a little off and got a strikeout. Coy Hill is down. Two up, two down for Wong. Do a couple of change ups to Coy Hill in that at bat. Well, the Bucks dancers are. Holding open auditions on Sunday beginning at 8 a.m. at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. The first 100 dancers to register receive an exclusive Milwaukee Bucks tank top. For more information, visit FoxSportsWisconsin.com. Click on the More tab. Andres Blanco batting for the first time. Came in on the double switch last inning. Looking ahead to the Brewers' eighth inning. Logan Schaefer will lead off. And then the pitcher spot. Then back to the top of the order trying to. Get a few on base when you get to Gomez and Jeanette and Lucroy. There's a strike and it's 0 2. Yeah, pitching with some confidence. You know, Jonathan. Trying to get him to work that change up. He's throwing a slider and here's a fastball. Right at the bottom of the strike zone. Oh, two on the way in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Wong's been racking up the strikeouts in his outings recently. He's had a strikeout per outing in all but two of his appearances this year. The first two outings he had this season, no strikeouts, but he's had at least one every other time. One two pitch and a bouncer foul pass first. Right, putting up a zero here would give this young man a lot of confidence going forward for sure. And you're pitching in important innings when your team is close. You put up that zero and. That's a way to get that confidence going into your next appearance. One and two to Blanco. Fouls it away. Ground ball to third. Here's Ramirez. And Wei Chung Wong, a three up, three down inning. Can the Brewers get some offense going? Give them a chance at a win. They're down a pair.
jumping around here at Miller Park. It turned out to be a slugfest tonight, a 9-7 game right now. We're getting set for Brewers Live postgame coming up after the ball game. Will it be a walk-off? Who knows at this point. But how about this game and the way it started in the first inning? Two Brewer home runs, three so far tonight. Well, that's right, and that's, you know, the, the Brewers, they needed that to really get that offense going. Scooter Jeanette, boy, he was, he went out, and then over Bay had the big home grand slam home run and uh, really gave the Brewers a lot of life. And it was so good to see Mark Reynolds go the other way and hit a home run, a two-run homer. First home run for Mark since June 2nd. That was in the sixth inning, and that made the score what it is right now, 9-7. to seven. So uh, pitching change going on on the field right now. The Brewers are set to bat here in the bottom of the eighth inning. We'll set the pitching matchup when we come back. the eighth Jake Diekman the left hander was warming up and then the Brewers announced Ricky Weeks as their pinch hitter so Sandberg counters with hard throwing right hander Ken Giles 23 year old rookie right hander he was impressive last night he can push triple digits and he'll be on to face Weeks Brewers down to bottom eight Yeah, made his major league debut back on June 12th he went 2 0 at 12 saves down in the minor leagues. That was in double A, double A and triple A. And a 188 earned run average, and not bad numbers here with the Phillies so far. Well, the Brewers were down 9 5. Got two back on that Reynolds homer in the sixth inning, and now down two in the eighth as Weeks on the first pitch. Rolls one to Chase Udley for out number one. And that one was at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> so you have Dickman, the left hander. He got one up to 98. Giles just threw one at 100 miles an hour. Pretty salty bullpen for the Phillies. One pitch, one out. Jeff Bianchi will pinch hit. For Wei Chung Wong. It's been a night for the Wong tonight. Cardinals got a walk off home run from Colton Wong tonight. And they beat the Pirates again in walk off fashion. Well, last night, Jeff Bianchi, a pinch hit, two RBI single. Brewers were down 3 0 at the time. He made it 3 2. And the last runs the Brewers would be able to score. Big hit for Bianchi last night. Gonna have to dial it up a little bit against this young man, <laughs> Ken Giles. They showed a pretty good slider to go with it last night. Threw some strikes with it, got some outs. One and two the count. 
high fastball at 98 and the Yankee comes up empty. Can check out Bianchi's story on FoxSportsWisconsin.com. Tough to be told you're being taken off a major league roster and a major league roster, the 40-man roster, cleared waivers. No team claimed him. Bianchi goes down, he hits, does a great job, and then the Brewers put him back on the big league roster and brought him back to the major leagues. It's all about attitude. You get sent down. Not only you get sent down, you get taken off the roster. He didn't hang his head. He went down there, worked hard, and here he is again. Wouldn't be the first story like that in the big leagues. There is a 40 man major league roster. 25 of those players are at the major league level. You have 15 others that are. Uh, in the minor leagues and available to be called up. Back up the middle, hit the foot. And Bianchi's going to reach with an infield hit. That might have been an out had it not hit his foot. I think he did it on purpose just to knock it down. And it looked like Jimmy Rollins was going to be able to make the play up the middle. But it's instinct. Try and get a piece of it. See, it kicked the leg up. And Jimmy Rollins would have been there. But it's going to be a base hit for Bianchi. There you go. Infield hit. And the tying run will bat now. Garza and Loesch. Loving that one in the dugout. So the Yankee last two nights pinch hit base hits. The Brewers are two for two. With pinch hitters in that ninth spot tonight. And now Gomez. Tying run at the plate. Just one out. Got Scooter Jeanette on deck. Breaking ball misses up and in. And very important to try if you can to get that fastball down in the strike zone early in the count because it's awfully difficult to center on it when it's up around the letters. Yesterday, Giles had a hard time early in his outing throwing that breaking ball for strikes, but then he found it and he was lights out. And that's where you want it. That's down in the strike zone, but right on the outside corner. No mystery. Here it is. Hit it after he missed this with the slider on the first pitch. One ball, one strike on Gomez, who shows Bunt, gets it down, and it's a beauty. Bunt single for Carlos Gomez. And the tying run is aboard as Gomez pulls the sneak attack. Man, hard to do. Guy throwing that hard. He got a slider and picked a pretty good pitch to drop down the bunt. And rolled it right down the line. There's nobody going to throw him out on that. About as good as it gets right there. And with his speed, no chance. Gomez with three hits tonight. Pushes his batting average up to 303. Has five bunt hits this year. Bob McClure having a chat with his young right hander. Just getting his feet wet in the big leagues this year, and now he's in a tough spot. Two on, one out. Scooter Jeanette coming up. And a couple of infield hits. We've seen a lot of infield hits in this game. A lot of hits off the end of the bat. Hits that have not been hit all that hard. But it doesn't matter. Brewers now have 13 hits. Still down two, though. Jeanette handles the high velocity pitchers well. He can hit the fastball. Good speed on the bases. Bianchi at second. Gomez at first, and a fastball strike in there.
The Yankee with an infield hit. Off the foot of Giles. Gomez with the bunt single. The 0 1 Scooter Jeanette takes a ball. One ball, one strike. Well, the Brewers have scored seven runs, but just one hit with a runner in scoring position. That was Overbay's grand slam in the first. Home runs have provided all of the runs tonight for the Brew Crew. Jeanette had a solo shot in the first. Overbay's grand slam and then Mark Reynolds a two run pinch hit homer in the sixth. An example of what you're talking about being a good fastball hitter Jeanette on a high heater. At 97 able to foul it back. So you wonder if Giles throws him a breaking ball here. One ball two strikes let's see. And Jeanette. Lashes one foul sends him scattering in the camera well. He's hanging tough counter at one and two. Anything down the line or in a gap, Gomez would have a chance to score the tying run. That feels pretty deep. One ball, two strikes. Another one to Jeanette. And now it's lined into the gap. Left center on the run is Brown. He's got it to make the play. Man. Boy, he stung it. But Brown hauls it in for out number two. Yeah, you find that gap. We got a tie game. Good at bat. Not much else you can do. Jeanette retired. And here is Luke Croy batting again with runners on base. He's had a boatload of them tonight. And another walk off in the Central Division tonight. The Reds just walked off the Cubs. Billy Hamilton with a walk off single. Brewers would like to provide their own walk off here tonight. Or maybe they just handle it here in the eighth inning. Yeah, do it here and let K Rod take care of it. Two on, two out. And a breaking ball strike. Great numbers with two outs, runners in scoring position. He was in that spot earlier tonight. Back in the fourth. And he popped up. Rolls over this one. Jimmy Rollins makes the play, and the Brewers strand two more. So Giles, bold serve. It's still 9 7. We're going to the ninth.
Ninth inning, Miller Park. Phillies still lead, hanging on. It's nine to seven. The Brewers have been knocking at the door, but haven't been able to push it across. Scooter Jeanette is going to go to right field here. His first career game out there. The Brewers remember shorthanded with Ryan Braun unavailable. Weeks will stay in the game to play second base. So Ron Renicky having to get a little creative here in the ninth. Frankie Rodriguez, who needs some work, is on the pitch in this 9-7 ball game. Hey, Frankie didn't even pitch in the last road trip. His last time out was against the Rockies right here at Miller Park on June 28th, believe it or not. Not his 27th save. It has been a long time for K-Rod, so not only does Ron Renegade want to keep the Phillies at 9, he wants to give his closer some work. Ben Revere will lead off top of the order for the Phillies. We were stranding two in the eighth inning. They left two on in the sixth. Stranded a pair in the fourth. Eight left on tonight. Well, the Brewers bullpen has done a good job again tonight. Right off the end of the bat to Ramirez and Revere is out one gone here in the night. St. Louis got a walk off tonight from Colton Wong. Ernesto Frieri who just arrived at Pittsburgh from the Angels last week. Surrendering a walk off home run. To the Cardinals second baseman he had a two hits tonight. Drove in three this evening Wong. With a walk-off home run, his first, and a 5-4 St. Louis win. They've done it to the Pirates in back-to-back -back games. It was Matt Adams last night. So the Brewers, with a win tonight, would maintain their four-game lead. With a loss, would drop to three up in the division. And the Cardinals coming to town Friday night. Reds got a walk off from Hamilton to beat the Cubs. They swept a double header from the Cubs today. Rollins rolls over one and two up and two down. The Brewers will have Ramirez Davis and Overbay coming up against that guy Jonathan Papelbon. In the bottom of the ninth. It used to be a guy that got it in the upper 90s, not anymore. So the Phillies bring their closer in and they lose quite a bit of velocity. <laughs> the last two guys that they've run out of that bullpen. Strike two Utley. Now the Brewers scored five in the bottom of the first. They had a 5-1 lead after the Overbay Grand Slam. Phillies got it back quickly. Scored five off Peralta in the second inning. Couple of infield hits and a walk to start the frame. And then the Phillies went to work. Ben Revere drove in two with a double. Utley drove in two with a single. They added one in the third. Two more in the fifth. It was 9-5 at one point before Mark Reynolds... Hit a pinch hit two run homer in the sixth, and that's where we sit. 9 7. So, on a night when the Brewers score seven runs on 13 hits, they're going to need a big rally in the ninth if they're going to pull this one out. And a shot. Base hit to right. 
Udley with his second hit. And the inning is alive for Ryan Howard. Yeah, just, just such a short stroke for Chase Utley. And K Rod game to fastball. Actually, change up, my mistake. And Utley right on it. Leak back over the heart of the plate, and he hits it hard into right. So a two out base runner. Now to bring up Ryan Howard who is hitless tonight. 0 for 3 with a walk. He did score a run. Long time NL East rivals here. K Rod's days with the Mets. Back when the Phillies were dominating the division. To the count. Another good change up. This one down in the strike zone. He left the one to Utley a little bit up, and Utley hit hard into right field. Got him. K Rod strikes him out. Two K's in the inning. And a scoreless ninth, and we are set up. Bottom of the ninth inning. The Brewers are coming up down two. K Rod does his part. It'll be Ramirez to lead off. Davis then over there. They're synchronized where they were. One guy's off. But that's a good way to get a rally going. With a straight face and all. Jonathan Papelbon is on to try to close it for the Phillies. Brewers down two. They'll have Ramirez lead off, needing a base runner first. Papelbon, who's only blown two saves all year, has been lights out since early April. They have picked up number 20 last night and a three up, three down ninth with the Brewers. Down by a run. He's got a two run cushion here tonight and has not allowed a home run this year. Point of batting average at just 183. So Ramirez to start at Davis to follow. Aramis is one for three with a walk tonight. This could be a very interesting night that we would have to uh, maybe check the record books. You could have two pitchers tonight in Major League Baseball who won the game and gave up a five run first inning. Kyle Kendrick tonight, who's in line for the win, gave up five runs in the first. Justin Verlander gave up five first inning runs to the Dodgers tonight. And the Tigers beat him 14 5. He didn't give up any more runs. <laughs> And Verlander got the win. He beat Ryu. Tigers had 20 hits tonight. Popped him up. Marlon Bird is under it. 
and out number one and Kendrick gives up seven runs tonight and could be the winning pitcher. I mean you give up five runs in the first you're not really thinking you're going to be in line for a win. And we might have it in two games on the same night. Let's hope the Brewers can do something about that here. Down to the last two outs. Chris Davis will bat. Got Overbay due up next. It's been a tough stretch for the Brewers. This is. They start to July. They would just as soon put behind them. A loss tonight. They go to one and six to start the month. Oh. Brewers have lost six of their last seven. After they put together a little four game winning streak to get them 19 over 500 as Davis skies one to left. Two outs. And over Bay the last hope trying to keep this thing alive. Part of that five run inning the big blow was Lyle Overbay. And a 1 1 game. Grand slam for Overbay. Yeah, things were all smiles at that point, but the uh, smiles didn't last long in that Brewers dugout. Willie Peralta struggled the ne next half inning. Willie giving up nine earned runs tonight and four and a third. Renekes use Gorzolani, Kinsler, Duke, Wong, and K Rod to get to the end. Oh, and one to Overbay. Two outs in the ninth. And one ball, one strike. Brewers swept the Phillies in Philadelphia in April. They had won six in a row against the Phillies before the Philly win yesterday. Ryan Sandberg's club trying to return the favor here. Brewers down to their last strike. One and two with two outs. And over Bay, a shot right at Jimmy Rollins. And the ball game is over. The Phillies win again. Papelbon with his 21st save. And the Brewers have now lost seven of their last eight. And the lead in the Central Division is down to three. Nine to seven, the final. Kendrick wins it. Peralta suffers his sixth loss. Papelbon saved 21. Time to check in with Craig Kishon. Brewers Live coming up. What do you have in mind for us, Craig? Well, we didn't see this coming after that first inning. That's for sure by Milwaukee. However, we'll dive into a 9-7 Brewer loss and set you up for game three coming up tomorrow night. Stay with us. Brewers Live is next.